What you guys are looking at here this morning are some of the new patterns that we are coming out with for the 2022 fall lineup going into the winter show season. I'm not gonna show you everything we have in store for you, but there's a couple of really cool things that I'd like to get to. Returning six inch, this is returning, it's not new six inch gill glide one of my favorite patterns to paint love these little red breasts they're dynamic in the spring and you can't live without them neither can i we also have something completely new for you guys these are the seven inch glides now mike has been uh, studious in doing eight and nine inch glides and we've got a whole storefront of those to show you as well but brand new to the fall lineup going into the winter season are these kick ass you know them love them you can do the same things with them that you could with the other ones these are the seven inch shad glides they're a dynamo you can tune them you can pull the pin in the top right here and you can either use the eyelets to go a little bit further apart and get a twitchier glide or you can bring these in and you can adjust however you want this glide to work for you whether you want that smooth wide glide or that choppy twitch almost jerk bait type glide so love these you can add weight to them in the tuning chambers there are two there's a middle tuning chamber and a bottom just like the other ones that you know and love but this brand spanking new so excited about these this fall so just going to show you a couple of different patterns we've got some shiners we've got lots of shads some crappy um these are the eights you guys already know and love them we've got some herring patterns Obviously, the trademark Bill Barton and Daniel Karakaburu London. TK Stanley is still with us this year. So just some really cool stuff to show you guys. Moving down into the nines. There's that classic Bill Barton smallmouth. Daniel's gorgeous nine-inch mirror carp. Just some awesome, awesome stuff for you guys. Also brand new, and you'll have to pardon the empty spots. We took a hit at the gathering. We got a lot of these guys sold, and we're excited about them. This is the new quad trout. Uh, we've got stalker patterns, juvenile patterns, regular rainbow patterns, almost a cutty pattern. You can see that slash in the cheek and that, that pale yellow in the underbelly. Just some really, really cool stuff going on this year beautiful swim just a tease before the gathering we showed you what these guys were about just absolutely love them even got a brook and a brown for you guys this year so storefront and show only i don't know what mike has in the works so i will never speak for the the bullshad crew um, i just throw the paint for these guys so and 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 brand new badass rat so excited about this this might be my favorite one yet got my signature paint on it got a couple of these guys left these were just made um, we did pretty much sell out at the show but super great action that wide lip really really great water displacement on this more than likely this is going to get my fave of the year for what Mike is doing brand new here at Bullshad. Check that badass out. That's so cool. I'm so excited about these. We also have some brand new shad quads, or as they call them, quad shads, because it's the quad trout, but I affectionately call it the shad quad. Just sounds better to me. I don't know why. Maybe yeah, it's familiar. I don't know. Shrek, who knows? Far quad, <laughs> shad quad. Just has a ring to it. So I wanted to show you guys this stuff this morning as well. Okay, so this is take two. Let's let's be real about this because I almost dumped the entire freaking thing over because the pens weren't in this particular case. Some, oh God, who knew? But that's a Monday, right? Right. <laughs> He's always laughing at me for something. I usually deserve the laugh. Um, so that's what we've got going on for you this morning. Now we're gonna go and take it into, yeah, this is cool. So a little bit of depth there. We're gonna talk about this pattern particularly more when we get inside my little office. Back in my little studio, 
this is the finishing desk sitting at it right now and you can see there's a lot going on here i haven't done a video in a while for a shop update so i figured today would be a great day to do it because we've got a lot of stuff to show you guys um showed you a little bit of what's going on out in the storefront and what they're making for the 2022 lineup which is fabulous i'm super stoked about all of that uh, but now we're going to bring you guys into what's going on here this is a shell cracker and it is headed out the door this morning to one of our esteemed customers. This is a three joint, six inch bait. That characteristic red shell crackers are red ears, one and the same. There you go. Bunch of these are headed out. These little long ears or greens. Um, they are similar fish. They are two different species. So some of you guys call these guys greens. Some of you call them long ears. They have that characteristic white on the ear flap and on these little 18 gram vertical jigging lipless. And they've just come off of the clear coat rack so they've got just a little bit of dressing that needs to happen to them. I always clean off the eyelets for you guys. Also got some rats. This is the gray ghost on the wake. And a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of these peas. Love, love, love painting the peas. You guys um, on Instagram, some of you were asking, or actually I think it was on Facebook, you guys were asking if I had a video for this particular build. I did not do a particular video for this, but there are three or four now on the very similar, almost exact, I kind of modify it from time to time so it doesn't get boring to paint, um, but there are several Peacock tutorials on my YouTube channel, Jekyll Productions which you guys are watching right now. So thank you. Um, please consider subscribing, smashing that like button for me. It means a lot. I like it when people say hi. Also got a shad. And now we're getting into the shads and some of the metallics. You guys have been asking about how I shoot those, how we clear coat that. Again, this has just come off of the clear coat rack, so it's got just a little bit of dressing that needs to happen. But you can see that there is depth portrayed in some metallic and holographic shimmer here. As is on this one. These have not been cleared yet. But this is that brand new Ketchco Mike Buca collaboration. This is the Bull Mullet. And you can see that it's got the split rings here. This does come with saltwater hooks, so you guys can blast these out inshore. You can pier fish with them. You can take them um, red fishing, really good multifunctioning bait. They test the bejesus out of these guys before they ever, ever go to production. So rest assured, this will catch them for you. But you can see all that almost chrome finish to the body. Just super clean, super clean bait. And also did one on the Contender Junior. Just a fun, fun bait to do. This is the Guggen Squad Junior Contender and the Mike Buca Catch Code Bull Mullet. Both of these available in the Ketchco line. Both really, really good fish catchers. Pick yours up today. Shopcarls.com. Shameless plug that I'm not paid for, but I love them. They take good care of me, so I take good care of them. It is a fantastic relationship, and I could not ask for a better partnership than Ketchco and Bullshad. This is the latest trout patterns that I've been doing. And you can see that there's a whole lot going on here with depth and chrome. Chrome, if you guys have ever seen a rainbow trout, if you've ever caught one or you've seen somebody catch one or you've seen one on TV or even if you've looked at 
in water magazine any of the the trout bum mags you see a lot of silver in this pattern this is the best way that I've been able to portray depth in a pattern and I'm really really loving the way that these are turning out it, it really gives some something different than what you would normally see and you can tell that there are the little dots and you can even still see the par marks so obviously this is in a juvenile stage that's growing which is about perfect for this size bait this is a triple joint original bull trout from bull shed swim baits and i just wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about this because it is hands down my favorite trout pattern that I've done to date. There's a whole lot of flash and pop going on in here. I know you guys are just waiting for me to say flash and pop because I say it in every video, but I mean it because look at this. Like this is, I'm really excited with how these turned out. So last but certainly not least in the video update for today, these beautiful bull shad bull wakes. You can define the bull wakes because they have a much thinner profile on the lip and the angle that the lip is almost at a 90 degree angle to the bait offsets this displaces water really well and it's just basically going to mimic that wounded shad in the water column but these are headed to the clear coat booth shortly probably as soon as I finish up this video just lots of really cool metallics, great profile, and loving, loving doing this pattern. This is probably to date one of my favorite shad patterns that I've painted. Um, I've been real, I don't, I don't want to say it's struggling, maybe it's a little struggling. Struggling to come up with a pattern that doesn't look like everybody else's shad. Um, a lot of them use uh, like a black on the back and then kind of a modeled look down here. I've been trying to do it my own way, and I hope that that's portrayed in these baits. Again, um, we work tirelessly to be unique, and I think that uniqueness is important because there's so much stuff out there, especially the stuff you get at brand name stores like uh, Cabela's and Bass Pro, not knocking them. Their baits catch fish too. But there's so much cookie cutter stuff out there like I can think of three main companies that have the exact same pattern for a Tennessee shad and the exact same pattern for a splatterback I mean it's just what's been done has been done so many times that I love when people come up with their own style of doing stuff and giving the fish something that they truly have not seen yet and that's the whole goal in custom art and custom painting with baits like this and you'll notice that as I'm running these through the cycle there's not a single bait that looks exactly like any of the others they're close I'm using a lot of the same colors to shoot but when it comes down to it they're all slightly different slightly unique and that is the beauty of a bait like this because you can have a million machined cookie cutter sorry it's bullshit um, you can have a million baits like that. You don't get that with custom painted, custom painted quality like this. And so hats off to all the guys that are hustling baits out there, that are building, that are painting, that are doing this 24 seven, just like me, just like Mike. I, I really genuinely love doing work like this. And that is gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for paying attention. Thanks for watching. Thank you if you guys have been subscribed for a long time. And if you're not subscribed, please consider it. It really does help the channel. And I love teaching you guys what I know. And I continue to grow and learn every day. And I hope that I'm always able to do that. You guys have a fantastic rest of your week. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.